and Jokic. Dominant. But yet someone let, left him off the MVP ballot altogether. Get to vote for five. And somehow, if you have a vote in the NBA for most valuable player, the player who won the previous two MVP awards did not make the ballot. And earlier this week, whenever the award was handed out and announced that it was Joel Embiid, and by the way, rightfully so, he was dominant this year. He had been the runner-up, and it wasn't a landslide, but, I mean, he got many of the first-place votes in the possible outcome of MVP for 2022-23. Charles Barkley had this to say on Inside the NBA. Something that's been bothering me, you know, Joel deserved MVP, and Joker and Giannis, they were one, two, three, whoever you voted. But there's one person, I don't even know this fool's name, didn't even have Joker in the top five. Like, people like that shouldn't get a vote. You gotta hope that it was just an oversight or no, some kind no, of a tabulation no, thing, no. and that guy wouldn't consciously say, Ernie, no, he's not in Ernie, the top Ernie, five. Ernie. For the That's last, what I'm just... Ernie, for the last, hope. I understand. For the last six months, we talked about Joker, Giannis, and Embiid. If you have a television or you actually watch basketball, if you don't think he should have been in the top five, you don't deserve to vote. I mean, you could be like some of these fools we'd be letting vote for president out here. I'm hoping it was some type of a clerical error or some t or some kind... Of, there's a, There's got to be a good reason for it. I yeah, he's hope, a damn idiot. I hope there idiot. was a better reason than that. And, and guess who it ends up being? The, the, the damn idiot, as is, is Charles Barkley says. On Sirius XM, Mark Jackson, former player and head coach and broadcaster, copped to it on Sirius XM NBA radio. He said, I was the idiot who left him off my ballot. Mistake. One thing I live by. You make a mistake, you own it. I'm not a guy that does it for clicks or to be trending. Absolute mistake made by me. I am thinking, how did I make that mistake? You can tell I put one center, two forwards, and two guards, so I wasn't even thinking. He then doubled down on his top five, and he says, I, he apologized to the Denver Nuggets. I apologized to Jokic, who is not only in the MVP discussion and deserved to be on my ballot, but when he, he's one of the greatest players in the history of this game. He's a top 10 center of all time. I own it. If you want to take away my vote or do whatever, more than welcome, I made a mistake. That from Mark Jackson. He tweeted out an apology as well. I was fully prepared to come into studio today and just rip Mark Jackson for making this mistake. And then Mark Jackson went on an interview and he just totally fell on the sword and said, I'm an idiot. I screwed up. I apologize. If you want to take my vote, go ahead. I understand. And now I'm left with no way to crush Mark Jackson because he did a great job of owning it. Look, mistakes happen. Now, we could sit here and debate, should you take it more seriously than to just put a point guard, two guards, and a forward and center, or however he did it, like mm -hmm. you're filling out a starting lineup and not the right. top five players, regardless of position. Yeah, he should have taken it more seriously, and I think that's what he's admitting in doing this, but I've got a hard time crushing the guy for making what he says is an honest mistake. If he had come back and tried to double down on it by saying, well, this is why he's not top five, then yeah, we'd come in here, or at least I would, and criticize Mark Jackson. But I can't do that. Look, yesterday, I made the mistake of asking a, a, about a guy who died in a car accident if he was still playing for the Minnesota Vikings because it completely slipped my mind, and I forgot about it happening. Well, Point being, mistakes happen. Now, would I have written down that player in an MVP ballot and not taken my time doing it, it was and the taken, debate of taken the, season. the vote more seriously? Absolutely. I would have taken it more seriously. Here's also what I'm hearing from Mark Jackson. Please take the vote from me. I don't care. Well, he's saying if That's you take the vote. That's kind of what he's saying with that, right? But he's saying like, hey, if you want to take the vote because I'm an idiot, have at it. But I don't view this the same way. Here's where it really irks me um, and, and where it was warranted. All you have to do is go back a year and a half, Chad. Hub Arkish had an MVP vote for the uh, NFL and left off Aaron Rodgers because of the whole vaccine stuff. Because he had, quote-unquote, lied or manipulated how he wanted to say inoculated instead of vaccinated, right? Yeah. That was the whole thing. Guess who doesn't have a vote anymore? Hub Arkish. And uh, a longtime uh, media member and cover, had covered, and still does, cover the NFL, 
Pro Football Weekly and, and other outlets. Point being, that warrants more of a removal of a vote than it does in this case. And far too often, you, you see the, the votes that go against a player because you don't like them. You see a, a head coach that has a coach's poll vote, and he goes against the team because he's trying to elevate where he is or bring down the, the, the rival to his team's level a notch, if possible. To me, this is an honest mistake, and you can tell just based on how he outed himself because even at the time when the votes came out, they didn't know on Inside the NBA who didn't vote for Jokic in the top five. And you can tell Barkley is thinking this is some writer. Yeah. No, he definitely did. He, he did not. He was not envisioning Mark Jackson, a guy he played against, when he was well, saying this idiot and, that did that. And I should wouldn't take have either, away. by the way. No, it was a total shock when we saw that. I, I buy that it was an honest mistake and that it was just an oversight from Mark Jackson, the way he explained it. You're hitting on something, though, Hutton, that is 100% true. If any Hall of Fame, MVP, all-league voter is found to have placed a vote for any reason other than what that player did on the field and what the criteria is, that person should be banished from being able to vote. Aaron Rodgers is a good example. If there's anything politically that some voter has against someone and they decide to not vote for them, and they say it's for that reason, you take their vote away. Every time. I don't care what the political reason is. I don't care what's going on. If it's for any racial reason, obviously, you would take that vote away from someone, right? Right. right. I think the same goes for that. If you've got a problem with Aaron Rodgers' definition of vaccination or inoculation, and that's why you didn't vote him MVP, and there's no other reason, do you take that person's vote away? I would say the same for anyone that left off a player off an MVP val- ballot for that very reason also and could not cite actual this, on the court or on the field play as to why they did it. But I, I think the initial reaction would have been just spitballing here. Hey, and, and Barkley's taking up like he's one of the he he's 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 either number one or number two on a ballot, period. And. I think the assumption, whenever someone's leaving him off the ballot, what's the first thing you think of? You think of the Kendrick Perkins argument with J.J. Redick on first take. Between Embiid or Giannis and then Jokic. And in this case, I don't see the parallels as to why Mark Jackson left Jokic off of his ballot based on the description and how he fell on the sword for this. And he doesn't mention Embiid in this, in his argument for leaving Jokic off. Nothing. And I'm with you, Chad. I appreciate Jackson more for just saying, hey, massive mistake. Now, it can't happen again. But I doubt Mark Jackson makes that mistake again. I think the screams of this was racist would be really loud if he tried to defend that and say that Jokic isn't one of the five best players in the NBA. But I, I really believe him when he just says, I'm an idiot. It was an oversight. I, mean, I think he's a straight shooter. I think he is too. I, I, I'm going to, I'll give some grace to Mark Jackson on this one. It was an oversight. I think he was an idiot. I think to go as far as to say, I'm such an idiot. If you'd like to take my vote away from me, have at it. Go ahead. I understand. That takes a big man to just own it and to not try to make an excuse and make it something other than what it was. Now, if Mark Jackson came back today and tried to point to all the reasons he's not a top five player in the league or in his vote, right. then we would probably spend a lot more time calling Mark Jackson a complete idiot. And not just an idiot for the oversight, but a complete idiot in the basketball sense because of making that because he made that argument, but he's not. Therefore, I offer up some grace.